Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. no, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief It's justice. a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, very strategy. Very terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Could it be that time indeed does wait for some men? So, the sadness of overtime. There's a certain sadness when great people, almost mythical, are laid bare by time. That is Robert Mugabe. Time eventually runs out for those who do not get off at the right bus stop. It had become heart-wrenching to start to see photos of a silly-looking Mugabe, terribly old with jet-black dyed hair, ill-fitting suit, and that pocket-sized moustache. Comical, really. His infamous lady by his side. How could a freedom fighter like Mugabe find himself this way? Sleeping at conferences, inspecting the military guard, measured old age steps at a time, hunting down those with differing opinions, refusing to go. As a little boy in Benin City, I marveled at the African leaders of the time, Kaunda, Nyerere, Kenyatta. I was sure that the best of Africa lay with Eastern Africa. Heads of state in civilian garb. Back home, General Gawan was a showman with a beautiful wife, but still he was just not like those other men. Mugabe joined those other men. Joshua and Komo too. Dear God, why did you allow the demystification of Mugabe to happen? If he was not going to let go of leadership, why allow him 95 long years? Mm. You are reputed to have suggested three score and 10 years as adequate. <laughs> Thus. <laughs> <laughs> Allow you to finish his prayer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Com complete your prayer, then. <laughs> Thus, Mugabe would have gone on a terribly high note. Mm -hmm. You know, this is... Sorry. Why are you laughing? This is a serious matter. This is a serious matter. matter. Absolutely. But, but, you know, for me, I, 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 you know, I mean, I have mixed emotions with regards to um, Robert Mugabe. Um, you know, and like you said, Time is really the, the greatest arbiter. Time is mm. everything. Um, I just, I loved him. Mm. You know. Um, Why did you love him? Because I, he represented a well-educated African. He re, he, I mean, he spoke without fear, without, without trepidation. Exactly. And he spoke as a man. He, mm. You know, we have leaders who look at... Uh, a white person, okay, so, yeah. and then they will, they will cower. They will, yeah. He didn't care who you were. Yeah. He, he saw himself as a president, as a leader of his people. Yeah. Whether his people were poor or not was not the issue. He was a president, and he saw you. He would debate with you. And intellectually, I mean, he was just way ahead of his, mm. uh, of his peers. And he did um, so many wonderful and, Yeah, and education, he did yeah. well. I mean, well if, you look at, yeah. if you look at education in, in, Zimbabwe. in Zimbabwe, they got 87% mm. um, 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 literacy, literacy rate, rate yeah. from almost um, less than 20%. So he did marvelous yeah. in, 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 in that regard. And he gave them all back their lands yeah. for free. And, and yeah. he started this, this land reform thing. So when did it go wrong? I think where he went wrong was a combination of bad advice because at a point he also became a darling of the international of the of of the exactly. World Bank yeah. and IMF, okay. and they gave him wrong advice. Um, and then when he started the land reform, you had the Western countries come after him because he was taking land from pretty from very powerful white Zimbabweans who had links all the way to right. Downing Street. Correct. So they started, this, take it there. No, no, they started this huge yeah. campaign, yeah. Um, uh, so many coups and, mm. I mean, to be honest, if you pull the levers of international um, de development and you can pretty much decide um, whether to want to mess up a country. I mean, I don't know if you read that thing. It sounds like a cliche, uh, the economic hitman. Mm. That, um, but they, they was a, it was well orchestrated and I think he didn't, he should have left 
like Chuka said, I think he should have handed over to a much younger person mm -hmm. who will have been able to talk the talk yeah. and, and manage the rough edges. Uh, having done well, that didn't he want to do that? He wanted to hand over to his son or somebody like that, or his wife. I think at one point, his wife was showing... How old was he when he wanted to hand well, over to he, he was already in his 80s or whatever, and that was part of the reason why the people were like, you know what, no we're more, done. we're not having this anymore. Um, like Emeka said, I, I really do like Mugabe, and I think it's a shame that we're going to remember this his end rather than what he really stood for um zimbabwe they, they needed a mugabe at the time we in fact africa needed a mugabe, a, a mugabe at the time i remember watching a video of this man and he was speaking to this white man and he was so bold and he wasn't you know and i loved that because at that time which african yeah. would have been able to do that sort of thing mm. plus he did a lot for his people he was a great you know like now the word nationalist is seen as a derogatory term or or a right, terrible negative, term but yeah. it's not actually negative he was a true nationalist he yeah. he was for his people and he worked for his people now why didn't mugabe just Step let I mean, I, go I, I, and i'm worried uh, sorry I'm worried about the Rwanda president right now. He's doing a great job. I mean, I, I'm, I'm watching what he's doing. I'm liking what he's doing, but he's been there for an awful long time. Yeah. I think it's about time he too, yeah. you know, if he doesn't want to miss out on, you know, the glory. Yes, he, he needs I to think start thinking. Smarter, so, I mean, I guess yeah. the, the, my point really is to say, look, we should really push for it to be made compulsory that by the age of 65, when most people are retiring from regular service, mm -hmm. step yeah. down. Step down, go your way. I don't think you know, because I'm not I even think it's sure. Diffi it's difficult to do that because. Uh, um, <laughs> no, why is it difficult? No, I. It, it, but that you know, will save you. you you're and assuming save your some legacy. kind of ageism. You're beginning to assume that the younger That's person will have some you know, it's, 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 it's to no, preserve it's, you and your integrity. No, it, so, and so, it's, so, it's so, to, because people. People who are made to retire in regular yeah, work. Yeah, but the, so that's, you can go into consultation. Just don't sit don't at the helm. It, because power intoxicates. Leadership should not be, no, should power not be restricted to, to... No, to power intoxicates. I think it's, it's yeah. a safety measure for me. And I, I think that, you know, for me, the reason is not... Should we tell that to the Queen? No, she's not really doing it. No, but she's oh, no, so, now. But let me land the point. Let me even, even land the point. Okay, land the point and, uh, because yeah, I haven't, I haven't in, finished uh, where I'm going. Okay, okay no, yeah. Yeah. can I land? So so let, me, let me even Should get to... Should we tell that guy in Dubai? Wait, Dubai. Now, wait yeah. let me get to where I'm going. Let me get to where I'm going. Because I, I, I can't really vouch for all these people who are there, what systems they have around them that are checking that impulse. But I really feel that it's not even time that was working against Mugabe so much as having those checks that restrain, constrain you, make you accountable to a certain system, you know, that keep you from getting carried away and thinking you're in Dispensable and becoming a meg megalomaniac. Yeah. So I really feel that if you put those things in, in place in the first place, like you're worried about the guy in Rwanda, if you put those things in place, then there will be people who step up to you and say, okay, you know, it's time yeah. to stay. Because I, I go back to the guy in Singapore, Lee, Kwa Lee Kuan Yen. And he, he was in, active in, in government for a very long time, but he wasn't holding on. He was there in parliament, or their version of parliament, he was doing consultations, and he was clearly very committed to what he'd done, but he wasn't going to be the one managing it after a certain age, and that was safe to do. Mm. This is why we all respect Nelson Mandela. He made the statement, I will not stay beyond, and he didn't, he mm. kept his word, mm. for safety. You know, for safety, that's really how I, I see it. I, I honestly, I don't think, you know, um, the duration or age should really matter. You know, what I've, what I've noticed basically is all our strong leaders who have dared to face the authority have somehow ended up badly. Mm. Uh, Thomas Sankara, the other guy from Congo that was mm. killed, mm. you know. Uh, Mugabe fought for his people. Mm. And when he dared to challenge the authority, when he started claiming land, that was the biggest mistake he made. Is that a right. mistake? Well, well, that was you his own doing in, in, yes. in court, right? Yeah, in court. The narrative changed and, you know, everything started mm. working against. At mm. that time, he could not trust anybody to manage that crisis, you know, for him. The, the story started changing, the economic, um, where all the channels were blocked, you know. They knew that if they squeezed him, you know, his people would hate him and mm. everything started turning which is the same playbook they use for African countries mm. or leaders who don't, you know... Mm. Uh, but sorry, Sayed, are you saying that one person line. in the whole country, that one person is the only one fit to, to manage the a The man has started the journey. Like mm. the guy in Dubai, this was a desert with nothing. You should be grooming he someone as you go along. Would, you can't assume would. that you'll be there forever. Over if you die, will the country be thrown well, into chaos? Well, it, for the, me, it doesn't the, show the truth foresight. is, it doesn't matter who leads the country. As long as the well-being of the people are fine. 
If you have jobs, your kids go to school and everybody... But you shouldn't market. plan to be What does there it matter if it's there you 400 plan, years? You need to plan and, you know, group You know, that's the mentality that we've been, we've been programmed, yeah. that Look, democracy I, or democratic I, I, value I, I, that you might serve for us. It doesn't matter. matter. I'll, I'll take what you're saying. It's pragmatic. That the fact that um, I don't really care how old the leader is, as long as the leader is delivering mm. value to his people. Um, but I think the, the long, and then I don't really care the longevity, how long the person stays, as long as there's, there's a system, like that you mentioned, the that provides. Because, like I said, um, the, 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 in the UK, they have a pretty good system that provides us checks and balances. And that's for a long why time. I'm against but it's longevity system. is that I feel like we're here, we are it can in Nigeria. Be the oh, younger yeah. generation are being held back. The more you stay there, the more these people don't visualize you know, themselves you know, in for your me place, is, the more you the, stem their own desire look, the, to occupy. The, the, and I feel the, the younger generation in Nigeria, you're there, my generation forever. and the generation, you know, yeah, the, the youth. Um, I'm still quite youthful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we're lazy. No, but I think no one hands power to you now. Mm. No one. Take it. Fight no, for but it. But the longer no, you no sit there, the no, longer they, you, they, you, know, you have to take the it mind at the end of the day. And they, even in Nigeria, some of the so-called young people who have been given power, what have they done with it? If, but, if you're not by, looking by the way, behind Rwanda, you, then, what I mean, are you doing the there? people actually want him there. Yeah, for now. They want but him there. He's been there. In China, they've changed their system. The guy is going to be there forever. You're doing so well. But he could die any day now. So you I know what you're saying. What's the system is important? is fine with it. There are checks and balances. Yeah, yeah but you must admit that no man needs. will live forever. So no, you need to of, have of people course. That's why there's a system. That's over. why we're saying that create a system. Nobody lives forever, mm. you know, thankfully. You know, <laughs> but, 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 but have a system that, that will act as a check and balance. And I think that's what's more important. Well, <sighs> there's nothing like knowing when to make an exit. Honestly. Time for me to step aside. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, Seidu's advocacy touches on another form of overstaying our welcome. Up next.